Hunter Biden tried to snort her. Host of Fox News Sunday, Shannon Breen. Former Miss Citrus, everything she touches is freshly squeezed. Host of the Morgan Ortega Show with Sirius FM, Morgan Ortega. Shannon, it's called steak by breaking the weird seal. Like there's no non news, folks. So this is a, a lot of the headlines we're seeing. He's lovable. He's like your dad next door, your grandpa, your coach. I mean, so he's supposed to be the normie. We're told that's those are the words the kids use now. Yes, as you know. Uh, but when you talk about things like free speech, and because nine of the weirdos I like to hang out with most are at the Supreme Court, mm. and they have decided eight to one in some really controversial cases that the most hateful, weird stuff that you would say is protected by the First Amendment because it's not rainbows and puppies and all that that we yeah. have to protect. It's the most hateful stuff, but the court recognizes the Constitution protects your ability to say these things out loud, and then people can judge you based on that. But here's the deal. We got to get past all of the love fest at some point. That's any new candidate gets that. But you have to get to where he is on his policy positions. You outlined some of them. Now, some people may love that, but they need to know what they are so they can decide how to vote. Exactly. Now, you pervers. <laughs> no, I, I mean, come on, they wear robes. Like, we... I can neither confirm nor deny that. No, I, I think that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it is interesting to see the pivot. Important. So important. Yeah, I guess. Uh, the... Morgan, don't you find it interesting? It's like you can predict like what. A, a, a obfuscating from what we should really be talking about this election, which is actually the price of goods for people to go to the grocery store, the price of gasoline, whether you're safe in your community or whether we're safe around the world. We just took two aircraft carriers out of the Pacific region, put them in CENTCOM uh, because, oh, our U.S. Navy ships are getting shot at. Troops are getting killed in Jordan from the Iranians. Like we are in war in almost every theater in this country. But instead, it's actually really smart what the Democrats have done. They're not talking about war around the world they're talking about who's weird and who's not weird i happen to think what's really weird is getting married on tiananmen square with the excuse that you want to remember your anniversary because you always want to remember the anniversary of your wedding through a massacre yes you know it's ironic that he well, I, you know <laughs> i didn't know that they applauded that i i didn't know tim walls got married in tiananmen square you would need to write a letter to the millions and millions you know, of people. No, no, no. You know what? We're all weird. Yeah. You're. Uh, the same. Uh, oh, no cheer? <laughs> <laughs> puppets. Pure puppets. Just buy it in like an Iowa thing. So there's. I there's got no evidence. Wait, wait. I cannot believe it's not real. Is that your joke? For almost 4,000 delegates and the millions. My kids understanding directions the first time and a reporter <laughs> asking a follow up question. Yeah. I'm not going to judge a girl for a little Botox. Um, first of all, I, I see, I think she plays such an evil character well. Yeah. Like, you know, she, and, and she could tell that she couldn't wait. Like, she had, you know, offed his candidacy and she kind of couldn't wait to take credit for it because Obama was getting credit. Mich uh, President Obama was getting credit. Michelle Obama was, all these people were qu trying to quietly leak, uh, as Shannon knows, on background about who did it. And she sort of went out there and said, no, I'm the one who stuck the knife in. So, in a way, I got a candid to her. Like, she, she played the evil character that she is. Mm, you know, David, do you have this kind of power struggle inside Western Razor? <laughs> They removed him, and and what Democrats will say when you press them on that? This look that donors or a few party leaders are making these decisions. They'll say, "Oh no, everybody who voted, the 14 million who voted for President Biden in the primaries, was voting for the Biden-Harris ticket." Right. So she was getting votes. I also think, Morgan, she's trying to have her cake and eat it, too, because I think it's this, oh, I didn't do the actual stabbing, because she's like, well, I received hundreds of calls. I wasn't making, I wasn't telling people what to do. But then she goes on the show that she knows the president watches and says, after he said, I am not leaving this race, she's like, he's got an important decision to make. Mm -hmm. like, after he's clearly said, I'm staying in the race. It's like me coming on this show and saying, you know, Greg has a decision to make about whether he's going to curse or not. Mm. And clearly he's decided he's going to use naughty words on the show. Naughty. Has already been. That is. Yeah. 
David, your your street. Yes. Uh, what's your theory behind all this? Well, do you think that was racist to ask her of that? You had to shovel cow all day in the hot sun. Can I ask so. you what happens when calm? Well, because I'm an expert yeah. on this kind of thing, um, you already took van vanilla ice, so I'm gonna have to go with DJ Jazzy Jeff ah. and the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm. That's how up to date I am on rap, so I should probably not say anything more on this topic. He's got a new album out. Yeah. <laughs> Slaps. Well, it couldn't last forever, bro. We got to run. <laughs> last night, I stayed awake before I flew here, worrying that you were going to ask me about this. It reminds me of uh, Hillary Clinton and was it 2016? Hot sauce. With the hot sauce, yes. yeah. Totally like pandering and pulling the hot sauce out of her purse. I agree with you. Or she should just talk about policy or something. And but say, she's you know, not. I don't have time to talk about rap because I'm trying to save the planet or something. Yeah, but you know Running what? Running the basement campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. Couldn't there be some kind of midpoint, like where he, or does this help him, or does it? It's classic vintage Trump to do a press conference that long. I've sat through them, trying to work them. It's, it's like you're like sweating and wondering when is it going to be over. But I do think it was, it's smart of him because he's saying I can stand out here, I can answer every question, and he's forcing the press to try and do their job, which is actually we're almost three weeks in. Maybe ask her a question once or twice. Mm. Shouldn't he just milk it a little? I, I you when you're answering political questions. <laughs> yeah. Look. Yeah. President Trump, because he's running against who himself? Mm -hmm. So leave all this other alone. All right. Things that nobody needs to see. Now, I, I'm scared to even say that because I'm sure someone out there has the video. Yeah, but people can't even keep video anywhere anymore. True, it's like, I'm to, like, saved. Yeah, there's a the lot videos. of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> birthmarks. Uh, birthmarks. Morgan. Were the things that you did younger that you're glad was never recorded for posterity? Is that the word, posterity? Yeah, I didn't do, but I'm like Shannon, I didn't do bad things. I just did a lot of dorky things. Like right. I was the drum major of the band and I really hope no one has a picture of that. <laughs> I was just I bet you were great. That's so yeah. funny. Sure. You were the drum major. The amount. You know, there were, I mean, there were cameras. I'm, I'm... David Angelo, Morgan Ortega, Cyrus. Studio.